Hey, BW Lifers, how's it going? Hey, Matt Jackson, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. We're getting more stuff done today. Well, imagine that. It's a beautiful day here. Beautiful day mm -hmm. in Round Rock, Texas. Yep. Uh, we have a Harvest Beetle number nine, uh, 2019 is getting some stuff done today. Right, the last time you saw this, we were washing it, getting ready it for today. We're putting in a pan and a beam today. Yes, so uh, lots of work going on. Got lots of good hands. Got Tommy B here, Mad Martin, Jake Garrison, uh, myself, and the Matt Jackson getting stuff done. So uh, we're going to be putting in, taking out the old beam, installing the new beam from the guys over at Surf Alley. It looks so nice. Yeah, it's really pretty. And uh, it has a sticker on it that matches the harvest colors. Yes. So yep. that's kind of cool. And we've got the Wolfsburg West pan going in. Some nice uh, good steel. Yeah, so that's yeah, good heavy, that really good gauge. It's very nice for the for the battery tray area. Just a standard replacement. It's almost nine out of ten beetles that we found that need a replacement. There, so that's no big deal there on that for sure. It's just getting stuff done, and I'll tell you what, we are blessed. Again, here it is. It's June, whatever it is, and. It's raining. it's raining and it's 75 degrees outside. It's crazy. I'm wearing long sleeves and very comfortable. So. Yep. So we're working on the beetle day and we're taking you with us. So let's do this. Yeah. Stay with us, guys. All right. So what we're doing is we're taking off. We took off the tie rods, tie rod ends, the brake lines. We're cleaning them up to get them prepped. Uh, the beam will come out. We're also going to take the arms the because we need the carriers, everything off. Uh, from the brakes that so we can transfer over to the disc brakes if we need the arms We're we'll taking any uh, steering shaft and column out steering wheel. I'm gonna go take that home with me We're gonna repaint everything and get it the silver beige is what we're going for once we get this all cleaned up It'll be super clean and we'll paint it. We'll get it super prepped and then we'll put the jerk fat beam on it Which was super awesome uh, beautiful. I guess maybe you guys seen that already. If not, go check it out. Uh, and Andy over at Jerfab was amazingly cool to uh, donate that to the Harvest Beetle. Okay, so on a Volkswagen, the front beam has two sets of long springs that uh, all the weight basically twists these two springs and that's what provides your suspension. And uh, this is a whole beam that's just held on by six volts and we're going to be taking that off right now. We, Matt Jackson? We? You. beam is out well, one less thing and then the new beam is going in All right, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a big old bite on this top 19 inch, 19 millimeter head. And to make sure we got a lot, we're gonna use another wrench, tie it up down here. So if you wanna see how this goes, Matt Jackson. Put it like this. And now we have another extension. And we have a, we can make sure we get a perfectly awesome bite on it. I think that's pretty awesome. And this is the Tommy B. Smith Tech Tip. <laughs> dong, dong, dong. <laughs> All right, so what we're doing is just making sure grease is in it, everything. Uh, These are new leaves. Brand new leaves. So you want to make sure you get 
So what we've done is we pulled it halfway the middle, middle and we're doing this side and then when we're finished with this side we'll slide it through that way we don't have to try to fish it through the middle any longer. We just sort of make our life as easy as possible to accomplish the task at hand. Nice little grease coat over it. I'm sure there's a really so you pull it out just enough to where you can see your, your, gr your center. grub center. Your center. So you don't pull it too far and then we'll have a nightmare of trying to get it back in. Yeah, and then we'll do it to the other side, do the same thing, and put the pin back in it, it will be awesome. And the reason why we're greasing them, as these turn, they rub against each other. We're making a lot of progress today, aren't Ooh, we? Oh, Matt Jackson, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. Uh, yeah, is my face covered in grease? We're dirty. Don't, don't look like a grease monkey? You are, yes. Oh, nice. Hey, what a day, man. Um, I was just, we were just talking about this. If you do this by yourself, how long, I mean, like, okay, I'm gonna take the beam off, and I'm gonna yeah. do this, but what a team. So we've got pieces, yeah. people are pulling pieces off. As soon as pieces are, they're going to the cleaning, we're cleaning pieces. As soon as they're cleaned, they're wiping them down, they're painting them. It's like, yep. this thing's gonna be done in like record right. time. In fact, right now, Tommy's painting. Let's go out there and join oh him. Oh my gosh, D1635. <laughs> yes, what is it called? D1635, we love this stuff. Uh, Duplicolor, engine with ceramic. We don't really care about the ceramic, don't care about the engine, but they are it is super durable. It dries really good, uh, super fast, super easy, doesn't streak, doesn't run much. So these are all our trailing arms and, and these are the carriers. And these are the carriers, Pittman arm. Um, these are uh, trailing, arms. trailing arms. So the plan is to try to get these painted and go grab some lunch and throw them back on the car. Junk King stop along the way. We're gonna pick up some free patio chair. Ooh, free, man. Free is always good. Okay, I got it. I got it. VW lifers, this is true VW life. So, if you, everybody knows about Harbor Freight, right? So, if you come to Harbor Freight, you have coupons. Everybody plays, you get 20% off and you get something free. So, we're finagling this whole thing where everybody gets 20% off and we got free lights. way in back and forth before I get all the way up and then when we get close so and the springs have a little hole where the uh, screw the grub screw goes in and put the grub nut in there should center it down pull itself in there all right we've got the pan have in place and we're going to weld it in and I'm going to stand on it to get it where we want it. And we, Tommy has completely reassembled our drop spindles. These are for the disc brake kit. 
looking so good. And uh, we're looking at the shims in the... Uh, yeah, and the old arrangement of shims on torsion arm link pins. <laughs> Our offset at the present is eight millimeters. Therefore, we're gonna go four and four on the upper. Okay, that's inner and outer shims. Mm -hmm. And on a lower torsion arm, that would be the bottom. Be two on the inner and six on the outer. Right. Gary has the official maintenance book. Oh yeah. But this is also in the in the idiot's guide. In the idiot's guide, the numbers match. So if you've got a Volkswagen, you're good or with this. just that. Or if you really want to get serious. Because these are expensive, aren't they? Yeah, they're really expensive. But they're worth every cent. This is the official Bentley workshop manual. Volkswagen passenger cars. This would be a passenger car. Give you a quick update on the 67 i'll put a link to that video right here yeah that was the one we picked up up in a wacko texas so matt jackson uh the 67 uh right now we are basically uh, done uh you know this is what we call a road restoration it's got some uh, great michelins on there we redid the uh, uh the wheels in the proper lotus white and black for the disc in the center um, you know what? This is not. This is a repaint. We thought it was original paint when the, the ad said it's not. It's kind of a refrigerator white. But you know what? It's looking pretty good. It's got a lot of 67 only stuff that we've been been able to to, to source back on here, like the reverse lights. Uh, it's got a new piece shooter. Everything in here just looks good. Runs like a top. Got the right 67 uh, air cleaner on there. You know, this is just a runner. That's what this is. And uh, so the one thing we're we're lacking right now is we're going to do the headliner. And uh, then we'll be able to finish up the interior, put the windows back in, uh, seats in, door cards, carpet, and uh, this thing will be on the road. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. A little tired. Is, is my face, like, I feel like I'm just gritty. I've been, I've been like, the, I've been the official cleaner of the VW life today, cleaning parts. What a great day, Matt Jackson. We've got, uh, we put in the Jurfab uh, narrow beam. It's a four inch narrow beam. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got some drop spindles from the MP guys on there. This thing is gonna be just brand new and beautiful. Beautiful on the front, man. I can't tell you. We have, have redone the battery tray with the, the metal we got from Wolfsburg West. It looks fabulous, solid, solid, solid. Only thing we're gonna do is just seam seal that in, cover it all up so it's nice and dry for everybody like that. But the Harvest Beetle is coming along. I'm just, I'm just so stoked. I'm excited too. In fact, we wanna thank uh, Jurfab for uh, helping us out with this. We're gonna give away uh, an extra large uh, Jurfab shirt and some yes. stickers. Yes. All you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment below. We'll pick our favorite. Yes, babe. You know how we like to snarky mark remarks. So do that yep. and keep telling your friends, tell your aunts, tell your uncles, tell everybody. Hit the subscribe button. Man, we appreciate everyone, you guys, spreading the word and the love of the Volkswagen community because that's what we're here. We do this for us, but we do this for y'all because we want to share with you guys what all we have going on. And we, and we just, it's a lot of fun, man. Yep. Some people go golfing and some people go hunting. We work on Volkswagens. That's right. So thanks for watching, y'all.